Hello everyone and welcome to another A Lane War video. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. And we'll enter the building. That's where we finish on the last one. So uh let's go. I have Get two suspects. Well, interviews. Big Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. <laughs> hey Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Do we have a tail smoke? Of course a girl can ask this fella out. Nice bigs. Which uh way are the interview rooms? Well there's one. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Gambit? Did I use that word back then? Right, let's get some info. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve model 70 heater? No, I don't. Bullshit. Yeah, I've got no idea which one to to accuse him of a lie. Let's be honest. He did. Uh, did he service the one? Yeah, but I don't know which one was it. The one that I've been messed around with. That is a question. So I can't really accuse him of something. I don't. I don't remember what it is. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? We do repair? That's all I can think of. And guests offices. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? I have to take it back. You expect me to believe yeah, that? Yeah, I can do it myself. Believe whatever you want, Flatfoot. You're part of the conspiracy. You will have been the one who serviced. I was on the right path. I just, uh, I, I didn't think that was going to be right. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Good question. So you know. Yeah, the that's that should have been that. That was the one for the first question. To have done. But I tried Give anyway. I will give you a break. There's only one question that I can get wrong left. History of violence. I have no such thing. Well, that's not true. There's about a record. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you going to prove that? You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. Got it was one a right. Court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? As faced those water heater company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. 
<laughs> well, in the end, it was 50 50, I guess. I think. The procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Yeah. I think his name is Fell. Where's the room? That one there? I don't like that guy's face. We, bust in there and find the goddamn we have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this and he'll rat you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Really? We don't have a Varley repair though. Oh, we do. Hit the service by Varley. Because, Jesus, I was on it. <laughs> why are you lying to me, Varley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? How can you prove that I was? Well, you signed the fucking sheet. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban? Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweep. I think you played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Fair enough. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> yeah, sure. I can see them right in your face. But is that a lie? Or is that a doubt? That doesn't state him in any way. This record isn't gonna help. That one, maybe. Mm. Uh, it was a lie with the statement of from the other guy. That's all I'm interested in. Just tell me the truth. I know, cops. You're trying to trick me into something. <laughs> oh, you're not even going to hear me out? Wait, what? What did I do there? I want to make a homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that death. Oh, you're not even going to hear me out? I can't click on it. I can't ask the question. I click the question. Something isn't right. Can I click? What would reversing the diaphragm ah. of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? The fuck? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. Out of your mind? Well, I can't fucking prove it. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, but that that doesn't have anything to do with the water, though. That was the one for the first, for the last fucking lie. I was fucking on it. Ah. Fuck's sake. I'll get it wrong again. I don't believe you, Barley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? Yeah, good question. The heat is serviced, but I've already used that. Arsonist used cigarettes and mosquito coils from his locker, but I did not think of that. I just clicked it by, you know, thinking of that, but thinking of no way. They belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. I have to charge him or leave, right? I can't charge him, he's not the guy. There's no way he's the guy. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to I don't know. face a murder rap, or <laughs> staying here to answer for these arsons. Need a drink. Oh Again, shit, sorry. I want to make comments now. Can I charge this guy? Wait, why am I back with him? Where's the other guy? I've been around the whole freaking place, oh there we go. I get lost all the fucking time. Well, I can't do anything? I can't speak? Speak to my lawyer. I got nothing more to say. Right, shut the fuck up. Okay, so it's not this guy, or at least we don't charge him. To be fair, it's not him. Well, we can't go away either, I don't think. Unfortunately. Yeah. Our job is at the station. Well, let's go and charge him. Not like we have an option. Reginald Barley, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. I'm no cold blooded criminal. I could never burn up a whole family in their home. I believe you. But I had to charge you. The game gave me no choice. Is it no just keep your mouth shut and listen to me for a second? Uh. How is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station, conduct extensive interviews, sift through mountains of evidence with Lynch and Pinker, and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy? I took a chance on you, Phelps. People said I was crazy, and you made me look like a jerk. You may not be much of an arson investigator, but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Get going. It's not my fucking problem. Fuck you. Game gave me no choice. I know it's neither of those guys. 16 out of 16, not bad. And 9 out of 16. A lot of vehicle damage. The case against Varney looks dangerously thin for money. Yeah, I know. Fuck you. Jesus. What does a guy have to do to get this shit right? Even when I know it's wrong. Right? That makes sense. Correct? Sure it does. I'll go straight to the next mission. Oh wait, we've got this before that? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Fuck. 
Fire and all. Oh. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Star-crossed son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. I really don't like him. Alright. So how is that relevant to the game? That's what I'd like to know. Unless Kelso is going to become involved. Ooh! Oh, all can you legion fields? Mm -hmm. See, this is the guy. That's the jacket and the hat of the guy that's at stuff in the back of the car when we were doing the other mission, when we were looking for the free guys. He's the guy. Not them. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there no and find shit, out what yeah, you look. can. Address is 650 North Hobart. I got a call back for that Universal Forest line. All right. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Uh, let's go. Oh, we've got um, we've got that car here from our last mission. How is the car still here? Feels like it was ages ago. I mean, it doesn't have a radio, but it is it is a little bit faster, and it is a nice sunny day in California. Are we having a conversation, please? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. Okay. Shit about Jeff. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Fella kicked the moose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Okay. Wait that. I want my police car back. Step out of the vehicle. I've got an urgent call. You can have my car. You can have my stolen car. <laughs> oh, look, they don't want it. It's a car right there. No, oh, just gonna walk. <laughs> and you stop showing your fucking lights at me. This isn't a freaking WEC race, right? Or a GT race in general. Suburban Development Fund. Jesus, Cole. What's wrong with a good old fashioned black and white? Oh, we registered! <laughs> I pressed triangle to enter the car, and even though it doesn't seem we can enter, it did register by his comments. That's cool. 
there anything around there? Doesn't look like it. Interesting billboard, I suppose. Guys, you better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Ooh. Why are you gonna show us? Why do you got a forest corona? He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Good question. Ouch. What are they doing? Prayer effect is from the fire. Muscles and tendons contract. Okay. Learn something. Never the same, Anything around there? Nope. No, no, can I go there? Lynch! Lynch, I'm gonna lynch you! Jesus. Gotta go around again. Family photo. Uh -huh. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's what do you mean? Boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? He's wrong. We got the Something. wrong guy. That doesn't yep. explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start analyze your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole. But I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Ooh. Evidence! <laughs> right, that did it for him. Check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same MO. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating pigs. All right, buddy. So yeah, how you doing? Got to you. you want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me, and you won't be pretty much longer. <laughs> we Fair. Get this guy, you think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the Second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. Kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this. All right. All right. You remember the list? The I can kill him. Agent? No problem. Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. Work the neighbors. See what they know. I'll go across the street. Sounds good okay. to me. I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. <laughs> you don't look like a fireman, son. And who gives a shit?
LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Dudley? Cool name. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. I don't think so. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. <laughs> We've had an offer for the house. Right. Do Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morellis, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to Oops. sell. I see. That stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Oh, poor you. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. Then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. We don't. Uh, we can't prove it is lying. I need more, uh, Mr. He was telling the Tell truth. Tell me what you know about the suburban redevelopment fund. I know nothing about it. I've never heard of them. Yeah. Oh well. It'll be worse. Oh, we got something here. Looks like the same model. Yeah. Varley. This is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Must have been building gas for quite a fair bit down there. I don't think this is relevant. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is. Have we been this way? Oh, there's something. I can't see anything. Click, click, click. Missed it again. Click. Oh, flashlight. Not sure this means much. Right, okay. Oh, that's a Romeo, okay. Nothing. No, oh, something here. Baseball. Incidental. All right. Oh, there's a uh, down the stairs. We can actually get down there. Was not counting on that. Nothing. There's a. Uh, that looks like a door handle. I wonder what. Pliers. Not much done here by the looks of it. Oh, okay, we got a little cutscene. Pretty sure the fireman's got nothing to do with it. 
So this is where the pipe exploded. Is that a gas pipe? That big? Water pipe? I don't know. I don't think that's of any use. Uh, can you go this way? No? Okay. Don't see anything on a shelf, so... This dark down here reminds me of The Last of Us. Actually. Which is interesting, because The uh, Last of Us remastered, or remake, whatever, coming out pretty soon. Not that we need that, but anyway. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, we missed a room up here, that's uh, an iron. I mean, you can start the fire with an iron, but I think we all know that's not how we started. Oh, I'm tired. Newspaper. Wait, isn't this how we got to this place when we first got here? And we missed the newspaper. My number, Ira. At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, Doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This hmm. world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. So the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Might be the same hat. Check it looks different. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. Hmm. And you helped me to find it. Oh, what a nice doctor. He looks like he's shitting himself. Yep, he is. He's worried now. Want a quick look is all okay. So what else? I don't know what the hell I'm missing. Was this was here all the time? I've been going around for like twenty minutes trying to freaking find it. We was on a neighbor's freaking uh, land. Marks and cigarettes. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Calderon? Calderon? Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Okay. So is this it? Cops. Gotta be something big, right? Yeah, nothing else here. Can get out. Yeah, and there's the sound. So that's everything. Eventually, jeez, it wasted a lot of time. But in the vicinity, a citizen reports a four five nine there now at thirty eight North Catalina. Yeah, we'll take that. Since I can't figure out what's missing on that freaking house. Got all the clues. Hot Cops. property. Shit. <laughs> Stop. LAPD. Yahoo. All right. Another car chase. Stay in his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. He's got a truck. He can hit things, at least. Oh. I don't think so. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out.
Come on. You gonna crush? Oh yeah, you will crush. There you go. You gonna run too? But I'm scared to go to prison, mister. Well tough. Why did you run then? Are we supposed to see something here? What's going on? Okay, that was weird. That we finished. So, um, where do we go next? We gotta go back to the house. Because we still got the flag there. That's still our location. I don't know what the hell is missing. Took me 20 minutes, half an hour to find the last freaking clue. Interview neighbor. That's the last thing we did. We already, we already interviewed the neighbor. I do not know, but we can't advance until we finish it, so I gotta go back there anyway. You better take the neighbor's statement. The neighbor's statement. statement. Right, why didn't you tell me that before? Now you told me twice after you, we left and came back. And when I was walking around like a freaking headless chicken, you didn't tell me. Did you see anyone hanging around the Fuck. home prior to the explosion? No. Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. I can't tell if you're lying. Or if you're being honest. Covering for someone, Foreman. Who is it? And I think you are off your rocker. How can you make an accusation like that? What proof have you got? I don't. I mean, I've got cigarette butts and boot prints. And I gotta pick one. And I don't know which one it is. I can see you're the excitable type. Shit. Let your imagination run away with itself. I'll have a patrolman come by and take your. Well, state. it have been the prince. Hopefully, you'll be a little bit more cooperative with him. Come on, kid. I'm doing my best here. You were talking about the competition, right? Catalina Island. I've got one of the flyers in the kitchen if you're interested. Any well, I calls? think we just got one. What did oh. you pick up? All the piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper from the... There's a legend about them. From the... Um, 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Short movie we had earlier. Cinematic. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm oh, it is a flyer. Looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Hmm. That's the guys that have the place that was supposed to be the development fund or whatever. They were there before. Oh. I see you already have one. Well, seems yours is bigger than mine. Oh. When a trip. When did the flyer arrive line. in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Okay. Are we done here? Gotta use the phone. God, I'm so tired. This mission has been a pain in the ass. Alright, let's go use the phone. Oh, shut the fuck up. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Wilshire. Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? All right. Of course. Here you are. Who's that? Uh, what the fuck is wrong with him? Leads in the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? 
Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Kelty has warned us off over a leisure. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Rancho Escondido. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to the rancho then. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry for the video issues as usual. If you managed to watch this far, please leave a like. And uh, take care. We'll see you on the next one.